All right. Well, the World Health Organization is using AI to track us all. They announced this recently. We went over this yesterday. But what does this mean exactly? Are we safe as Americans because Trump withdrew from the WHO? Isn't this the power that we rejected them to have in the pandemic treaty? Or are they casually just saying, OK, we don't get the treaty we're just going to take all the power we want in piecemeal. Well, joining us to discuss is James Raguski. He is the author of Screw the Who and the one person I wanted to talk about when I saw this. Thank you so much for joining us. What do you think they're playing at? Well, you know, first of all, thank you for covering this issue because a lot of these things slip through the cracks. Uh, the Epidemic Intelligence from Open Sources program actually started in 2017. So they're just up to the same old tricks. You know, it, it's the same thing from the WHO all the time. Uh, they actually claim that this artificial intelligence observation of the media identified the, you know, Wuhan uh, lab leak early in, you know, one, at the end of 2019. They claim that by monitoring all of social media and media, they can identify things, you know, that are happening as soon as possible. Now, on one level, what we did, we, meaning people like you, people like me, and, and others around the world, we paid attention to news reports of people who were doing things that were not officially approved. We learned that maybe someone was trying uh, hydroxychloroquine uh, or trying ivermectin. And what we did is we looked at that and we said, well, our analytics of that intel tells us that that makes more sense than what the government is telling us. So what we're dealing with, with the you know epidemic intelligence from open sources AI program is not so much that they're gathering all this information. 